Hello, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Happy Monday. I am going to wait a few minutes until I have people join me. So if you are here, um, just write a comment or send a heart. It will also let me know and make sure that the comments are still working because Facebook has been a little glitchy the last week. Um, hey, ladies. I'm going to write in the comment box. Please comment if you are here. Awesome. So today, last week, we talked about routines. So Monday is all about motivation. Last week, we talked about routines. And so today, we're going to dive a little bit more into that topic because we talked about the key to finding your routines is alignment. Oh, hey, Jess. I'm so happy you're here. Can you comment in the chat box so I know the chat box is working? Because if it's not, I'll have to just reboot it. Let's hope that this works. If you ladies are watching, if you can comment in the chat box. Fingers crossed it works. If not, I just have to log off and try to reboot it one more time. I'm not seeing any comments. Okay, so I don't see any comments. Hang tight right there. Oh, there, yes, thank you, Janet. <laughs> okay, here we go. I was almost gonna sign off. Okay, so we have Janet, Carly, Christina, thank you. Jessica, oh, love you ladies. Good morning, happy Monday, Brittany, hello. Thank you so much for, for letting me know the chat box is working. I hope you ladies had an awesome weekend. Yesterday, I had a no work day and tried to bake. And well, I'm not a baker, so burnt my first batch. It was a slow start. Uh, so today, we are gonna chat about routines. Last week, we talked about routines and the key to finding your best routine is to find your alignment. And I had a lot of discussions with clients last week about what exactly alignment is and how do you find your truth like how do you even find alignment what is that so we're going to have a little bit of a chat about how to find your alignment and i have three steps to actually knowing if you're kind of in alignment or not so we're going to have a really fun discussion about that and really it's a lot of trial and error, but I want you to come at me in the comments so that we can chat, so that you can let me know exactly what you have trouble with, with regards to tuning into your truth. And I know this is kind of a weird conversation because I have an itch under my arm, excuse me. I feel like a little bit of a monkey right now. Um, so if you, look at alignment and truth. There's so many buzzwords, right? Like it's kind of all bullshit. You have this like truth and alignment and pain body and they sound like buzzwords and they sound like fluff and bullshit, frankly, right? So I want to dive deeper into what those words mean to me and my experience with those words to bring some clarity into your life so that it alignment doesn't seem like this unattainable goal that you're just working for every day and it becomes this addiction to the unknown. Does that make sense? So while I get into that, let me know, ladies, how your routines went from last week. Let me know what routines worked for you the best. This morning, what I did was, so first thing, breathe, gratitudes. Then I did a meditation. Then I did a little like essential oils, breath work, breathing routine. And then I did lemon water, tea, and prayer. So that was my routine this morning. So let me know what your routine was. And then we're going to get into this um, alignment chat. Because I want to know to you, what does it mean to feel good? If you're familiar with, and there's a really great little documentary on YouTube right now, and it's free. It's called Finding Joe. And it's about the hero's journey and how the hero, if you resonate with this journey, starts out in some shape or form and then moves through some sort of like spiritual awakening and then moves into sharing their journey. 
Now, what is this like spiritual awakening, inner peace, truth? And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So I want you ladies to let me know in the comment box right now, what does truth mean to you? What does alignment mean to you? What does it actually mean to feel good? So let me know. And then we can kind of dive into some tips because this isn't an easy question. And we talk so much about hair everywhere. We talk so much about feeling good and alignment, but it's not so easy. And it's an ever evolving feeling. Okay. So let me see if you ladies have some answers. Anything? What is truth? What does alignment mean and feel? So I'm going to paint the picture. We almost have two versions of us. And we talked a little bit about this last week. We have the pain body within us, which is the judgment, the fear, the insecurity, the yes. So we have vibration a hundred percent, the low vibration of the pain, the insecurity, the judgment, the, um, the anger, the sadness, the anxiety. Then we have the higher vibrational state, which Brittany points out to us as what I call like my truth or my master or source. And this is the fact that we are all one, that I am a loving, open, accepting being of everyone where we're at. And in each moment, we have an option of who we're living in, either our pain body or our truth. Now, if you notice in each moment, we have that decision. So there are three specific steps we need to do to become aware of what we're living in in order for us to find routines and to find inner peace. Like for me, my goal is inner peace, but I know in certain situations I am still judgmental. I compare, I'm insecure and I can feel when I'm in her and it does not feel good. So your first step to knowing your own truth is presence. We always have, and again, you'll see how my trainings really start to link. And last week we talked about this is we have this, automatic movie and video going in through our minds and just playing over and over. And so many of us are living in a state of complete like oblivion. And there's like this fogginess and this haze because we're just walking, right? You can see it in the eyes. We're just walking. We have no awareness of that video and, and tape that's playing in our mind. So the first step to actually finding your alignment is presence in each moment being present and asking yourself, how do I feel right now? That is such a powerful question because as you start to learn how you feel and what brings you those feelings and different emotions, you start to be able to choose how you feel in each moment. If I want you to imagine a, a wall of perfume bottles or a library of books, and each bottle, a potion bottle, each book represents an emotion that you feel. So as you become more aware of, oh, I'm feeling this in this moment, you add more to the book, you add more to the potion. And in each moment you can then choose, oh, who do I wanna be? You can pull out the book. You can pull out the emotion that you wanna feel in that moment. But the first step is to be present, to know what am I doing right now? How am I feeling? You know how often, and we see this when I'm working with clients and we talk and they go, I just don't know what I'm doing in a day. Is this you, right? Like at the end of the day, do you think, man, I don't know what I did. I feel like I did nothing, right? So this even links to productivity. And so that presence of what am I actually doing right now? How long have I been spending on my phone? How long have I been watching TV, right? Even binge watching. We can maybe watch one, maybe two, maybe even three episodes, depending on how long this, the episode is. But then when we keep going, is that who's acting there? Are you just in a pattern? And or if you were present in that moment and said, you know, what do I really want in this moment? What is really right for me? What does my truth want? Your truth may say continue or your truth may say, you know, I think we want to walk. And so it's the presence and being completely aware in each moment, what you're feeling and what you're doing. The second step is to asking yourself, how am I feeling physically right now? 
So alignment is both a physical and mental journey. So physically right now, I want you to ask yourself, how do you feel physically? Your body, your energy, your food. And so I want you to be really real right now because some people may say feeling good means indulging, having that pint of ice cream or that hamburger and fries. And then they say, oh, but it feels so good in the moment, but maybe it tastes good. And sometimes it can, right? Like this is why it becomes complicated is sometimes it could be great. It's a good treat. The, again, it's what energy, like Brittany commented, what energy are you in when you're performing that action? And this is alignment, right? And so if we look at physically, when you're eating that burger or that fries or that treat, how are you feeling? Just being present. I don't care if it, you think it tastes good in that moment. How are you fe feeling? So in the physical element, there's food, sleep, movement, right? And so just tuning in, how am I feeling? Did I get enough sleep? How am I, we all feel better when we eat well. We all feel better when we move. So what is getting in the way of you getting there? to your optimal state, to your optimal alignment. Then we have mental. Within your mental alignment, how are you feeling inner? Are you feeling sad, anxious, happy, calm, peaceful? And then you ask how, like what do you do for mental? So for physical, you do food, movement, sleep. I'm sure there's more stretching, still movement. For physical, journal, awareness, meditation, space, you know, time off. So what are you doing to feel good and to bring yourself into alignment in all of those areas? So presence, then you ask yourself physical and mental, okay? Now, when we look at our highest self, Again, open your heart, we are open, we are aligned. And I wanna talk just quickly a little bit more about presence and judgment because my fear body, my pain body is super judgmental and fearful. Now, when I, in each moment I ask myself, am I living in my pain right now or am I living in my truth? And this is a really fun exercise that you can work on this week. And ask yourself in each moment, am I in my pain right now or am, I my, or am I in my truth? And the more you start to become aware of what does my truth say in this moment, it becomes like a muscle that we're practicing and we're exercising. Okay, so your alignment this week, if you are feeling foreign or, any, or if you just want to challenge what alignment means to you, continue to ask yourself these questions. How am I feeling right now? How can I be more present in this moment? How am I feeling physically, mentally? Am I in my pain? Am I in my truth? Question and dive deeper into everything so you can find what alignment means to you. And so I also want to let you know upon judgment and opinions, when you're asking yourself these questions of how am I feeling right now? Ask yourself, am I having an opinion about this? because your highest self and your truth really doesn't have too many opinions about anything because she just loves and lets be. And she's just so focused on being. So when you find yourself having an opinion or a judgment in the moment, that is a key to you that you are currently living in your pain body. So your emotions are the biggest trigger and or tip off that you're not living in alignment. So notice how many times, even today, you have an opinion about something, a judgment about something, because your highest self and your truth just enjoys and, and is and bees. Does that make sense, ladies? I know we're having a pretty philosophical conversation today because I think it'll really help us to connect when we're talking about the practical things of like alignment and productivity and we'll get into that as well. Um, productivity and routines, right? We need to understand and have a better understanding of what is alignment. 
And is it just bullshit? And are these words like truth and inner self and peace? You know, just there you go. Cool. Thanks, Ravis. Are they just words? And I want to have this discussion that there's so much more than words. It's a feeling, an emotion, an awareness, a presence. So throughout the day today, just pay attention. You can practice. Am I, what do I feel about this? And am I having a judgment? So for example, even tea, okay, I have my fearless mug today. So you drink your tea. In that moment, are you feeling like, I hate this. I'm not going to do this again. Am I, you know, pay attention to how many times we have judgment. So even, for example, American Idol. Love American Idol. I love watching the underdog and like I cry every episode. However, I still notice my pain body come in and judge. Oh, I don't like what she's wearing or I don't like her or who cares when I ask that doesn't feel good in my body. And when I ask my truth, how am I feeling about this situation? My truth just loves and really doesn't care. So pay attention to your judgments and your opinions about things because it's a nasty little uh, red thread that brings you out of alignment and changes your vibration. Picture a, um, a nerve, you know, a visual of a nerve that when you hit the nerve and then the nerve endings like all go. So when something happens in our day, how do we stop the nerve endings from flaring? The, the stories, the, the opinions, the judgments from going away. We have to practice presence, mindfulness, and being aware that the something's happened and then the nerve has split. How do we stop the nerve from splitting so that it doesn't send this huge chemical reaction through our body, anxiety, overwhelm, fear, because that's just a pattern. So if you know of Joe Dispenza, he talks a lot about breaking those patterns, changing those pathways. So let's focus on something happening and it just being that. It's just an event. It's just a circumstance. Even it's just an emotion, but we need to stop the spread of stories and emotions and continuing perpetuating cycle that then gets us in our mind. Does that make sense? I try to give a lot of different visuals. So when things happen to you, you can think like, oh, that's that. Cause I know some of these visuals really help you know, my clients and myself to really get a better understanding and or keep themselves accountable in every situation. And this is the importance of routines when going back to last week. So the importance of this concept is twofold. Number one, we have to know our alignment to know what routines are best for us. And then when we're doing our routines, our routines ground us so that we're able to stay in alignment throughout the day. But we have to know what alignment is in order for that to even work. Is this making sense? Ladies, do you have any questions? Or tell me a little bit more about when you feel alignment or if you, if you struggle knowing what alignment feels like to you. And then I can ask any questions and then we'll be done the mini training today. I appreciate you being with me during this little philosophical chat about alignment because then we're going to get a little bit more again into productivity, which we need to know this alignment piece so that we can get into productivity and so that you could better understand routines from last week. So if you missed last week and you want my tips on how to build your morning, afternoon and evening routines, just go look at the tag training with Vanessa and you can see the routines from last week. Any questions? Yeah, love Joe Dispenza. And from the other day, you asked if we listened to Abraham. I fell asleep to her videos every night. I fall asleep to her videos. I know, I actually listened to Abraham this morning as well. That's what kind of my morning ritual. So now you, you'll hear little things of information um, that maybe will resonate with you if you wanna go check out Joe Dispenza. He also has meditations that help you rewire her, your brain. So Joe Dispenza was in a ski accident I might butcher the story, but he was in a ski accident and he was told like he would never walk again. And so he, he shares his journey of how he rewired his brain to heal. And it's just a really beautiful story. Okay. So I'm going to finish up this training today. Thank you for being with me and having a motivational talk about alignment. 
Tomorrow is Tuesday, so it's business day. Tomorrow we're gonna get a little bit more practical. We're gonna be talking about building community and building your email list and your database so that you have people to support, to, um, to share your product with. Last week we talked about how to survey your community, how to ask your community you know, questions, how to provide a service for your community and how to pivot during crisis. And so tomorrow we're gonna to talk about actually com community building. How do you build your community? How do you build your following so that you can continue to serve them um, and, and grow your brand or your product offering? So, oh, Jules says alignment is everything. 100%, honestly, it is a really, it's just a cool topic that takes, have fun with alignment this week. And just question like, am I feeling in alignment? Am I not? What does alignment mean? I was having this conversation with my boyfriend yesterday or the day before about alignment. And do you know what your truth is? And or is all this stuff just mumbo jumbo? So I hope I asked a bunch of helpful questions to you today that will help you dive deeper into that. And I'm sending you so much love to help you along your alignment journey to find just inner peace and presence and, and help you tune into your truth because your truth is just a loving, open, accepting human that really doesn't care about what other people do because it's their life and you just love and you're just shining like a light all day. So go out there, be a light for everyone around you. Yesterday I went to the grocery store and everyone was seeming kind of grumpy. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna be a light for everyone today. So go out there, be a light. I will see you tomorrow for business day, community building, and send me any questions. You can post them in the comments. I'll always look back and answer any questions from, uh, from the training earlier. So I will see you later. Bye for now.